Well, the Davenport is Spokane's most luxurious hotel. Uh, we are AAA Four Diamond rated, so we're the highest rated property uh, in Spokane. Before the hotel, it was actually a restaurant. Louis Davenport started a restaurant in Spokane, and it was a, a waffle foundry after the Great Fire in the 1890s, um, which then transcended into a restaurant, kind of a fine dining restaurant. and. From there, a group of 12 investors tapped Louis Davenport to build an elaborate, elegant hotel for Spokane because Spokane was on the rise. Spokane was going to be the next Chicago, uh, so it just didn't have a big, luxurious hotel. And by 1914, uh, the Davenport was created. Louis Davenport had a great sense of detail. Uh, he was very meticulous in uh, service standards, the way place settings were, were set up. He would always measure the distance of the fork and knife from the edge of the table with his thumb. It had to be a certain distance. Uh, just little details like that were always kind of his specialties. Pretty much all of the sitting presidents from 1914 up until 1984 uh, had stayed in the Davenport. 1985, the Davenport closed its doors. Uh, and stayed closed for 17 years. You know, once 1974 had passed, that was the World's Fair. There was so much activity in Spokane then. After that, it just seemed to continuously fall into disrepair. Eventually, it just couldn't operate as a business anymore, and it had to close its doors in, in 85, uh, which was sad. It was sad for the community and, and you know, certainly for the hotel. Walt and Karen for years had looked at this building and I think Walt always had wanted to, to own it. Uh, they both are, are people that have great taste in food and in um, decor and design and they enjoy travel. So I think those were uh, some things that really interested them about the Davenport. And so they kind of fell into uh, a good deal in, in 2000 and were able to to buy the whole city block for six and a half million dollars and then proceeded to uh, really gut the building, uh, at least the guest room part of it, and kind of start over. And, and what really had saved the Davenport from being imploded and torn down was uh, all of the asbestos that was up in the guest rooms. So that's the only good thing that I've ever heard about asbestos is that it actually can save some buildings. But it still had to be taken out, which they did. Uh, and so we have brand new guest rooms, all of our HVAC electrical uh, that you see in the hotel is all new. Um, so it's like a brand new hotel with great old bones 